Hi, it's Rob from Brush and Bulkham. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint a Space Wolf Terminator. Now the miniature itself is one of the Space Marines Heroes miniatures. I really like the dynamic pose to it. It's sort of running, charging forwards with its lightning claws, one in each hand. So I thought that was pretty Space Wolfy, so I decided to paint it up like that. If you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Now onto the video. So this is the end result of this painting tutorial, the finished Space Wolf Terminator. Really pleased with how he turned out, but you can see that dynamic pose, which is why I wanted to do him as a Space Wolf. He's kind of charging forward with those lightning claws ready. So we shall start on the tutorial. So the first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Calador Sky. This is a blue that I like to use for kind of Space Wolf frost blades and things like that. So I tend to have all of the Space Wolf weapons, that kind of initial deep icy blue. And you can build that up until it's white at the very tips of those blades and make those look really, really nice. With the claws done, we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo black, but whichever black you use is fine. We're just going to do all of the seals between the battle plate on the Terminator armour. Now we're going to do some Citadel Corn Red. We're going to use this for the loincloth and also the wax parts on the purity seals. And this is a really nice red colour. I tend to do this for cloaks and things on Space Wolves as well because it's just that little bit more kind of maroonish coloured than you would do if you were doing the usual fist on red colour of cloaks that you might do on different Space Marine chapters. I'm going to use some Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey. I'm going to use this to do the Crux Terminatus on the shoulder there, and also the symbol on the left shin as well. I'm doing this because I've always done them the stone kind of colour, because of all the old fluff around them, or all the old lore around them being stone with little bits of the Emperor's armour inside. Now we're going to use some Citadel Retributor Armour. We use this to do the winged Crux Terminatus on his chest there. I was going to use it to do the laurels on the centre of his armour there, that little round disc over his stomach. I'm going to paint a few little bits on the lightning claws too, just to break up those colours. Just to give them the little gold skulls on the end there. Now for a little bit of Citadel Rakarth flesh, you can use this to paint the parchment areas of the Purity Seals, of which he has two. So you can just give that a nice smooth coating, we can move on to the next colour. Next colour is going to be Citadel Iron Hand Steel. I'm going to use this to paint the tubes on his lightning claws. You've also got the underside of the feet as well. They have those grips on there, doing the little tubes on the top of the lightning claws too. Later on, I'll use this to do the grill and the two kind of little nozzles on the front of the helmet as well. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel and my fist on red just to do the eyes. One of his eyes has a slightly shattered lens. I'm also going to use it to do the little lenses on that shoulder thing as well and the gemstone on his chest. First of the shades is going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to use this on the parchments for the purity seals. The 
Next, we're going to use Citadel Null Oil. This is going to be for all the silvery metallics, like the Iron Hand Steel, and also for the stonework on the shoulder and on the front of his shin there. Now for a little bit of Citadel Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to use this just to go over all of the gold. This will give it that sort of dark and moody looking gold. I'm going to use a little tiny bit of Citadel Druji Violet just to do those eye lenses. So we're going to get a little bit around each of the lenses and also on those gemstones on the chest too. Now we're going to use a little bit of Citadel Carrowberg Crimson. We're going to use this on the wax of the purity seals and also on this little tabard on the front there. Some Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade next. I'm going to use this to do the armor and also the lightning claws. So first up, we're going to start with some Citadel The Fang. What I found here is because I'd used Wolf Grey from Army Painter to spray the actual armour itself. The Fang is slightly darker, so after I've shaded and started reapplying the Fang, there was some slightly not too hot looking gaps where the shade wasn't quite as dark as it should have been because obviously the underlayer is a little bit lighter. So what we'll do is, once we've finished painting the fang on, we'll use a little bit more Drachenhof Nightshade, just to touch that up, and that will darken down any of the areas where maybe the wolf grey colour from Army Painter is showing through as a little bit lighter. So you can use the shades just to darken things up once you've painted those colours back on if you want to. Try not to spread it out all over the armour because you'll have to touch that up with the fang again. But if you're quite careful you can get that shade back into those little areas and get it so it looks darker going to the lightness of the fang. Now I'm going to use Citadel Rust Grey to highlight the armour. So you want to cover about 50% of the area that you covered with the previous layer of the fang. Making sure you've got plenty of highlights on those areas that will be catching the most light from above. And then we'll add a little bit of white to highlight this. So here we go, adding a little bit of Vallejo white to the rust grey just to get that slightly lighter shade. That will give us a nice colour to do some edge highlights and get all those little edges done. So again, same as when we reapplied the rust grey, think about which way the light's coming from and where you're going to do those highlights, just so that you don't have highlights on the underside of things too much, as that can look a bit weird once you've finished. If you do too, too much of a highlight, you can just add some more of that rust grey to your brush and just touch that up and get them looking fine. Armour done for now, because we will be coming back to it to do a little bit of bowel damage later on. We are now going to use some Mechanica Standard Grey and reapply that to the Crux Terminatus and the honours on his left shin. So like we did with everything else, think about where the light is coming from. And you want to highlight and colour in that stonework as the light is coming from above. And that will tell you where you're getting your highlights and things like that if you think about it that way. You'll have the highlights on the top edges of things. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Dawnstone to highlight that. So once again, think about where the light's coming from and highlight it from that side. 
and that will let you have that gradient from dark grey to the shaded areas and up to the light grey for the areas that are catching more light. Now we are using some Citadel Administratum Grey to do the final highlights on the Crux Terminatus and the other stonework. So just doing thin edge highlights on the top edges and top surfaces of that stonework to make those stand out. Now we're going to use Citadel Corn Red. We're going to use this to reapply colour to the tabard or the loincloth and also to the wax sections of the purity seals. So think about where the light's coming from again. You want to be highlighting the areas that be catching the most light or colouring the areas that be catching the most light. So you still have those shaded areas in the recesses where it's going to be under the shadow of, say, the arms or the top half of the Terminator. I'm going to use a little bit of Citadel Wasdaka Red to highlight these. So you want to be doing about 50% of the previous layer with the Wasdaka Red. Leaving obviously the shade darker towards where it's not going to be catching as much light. And lighter to where it is. And I'll highlight for these parts is going to be Citadel Pink Horror. This is mainly going to be to do the very top of the crests on the material. Little spots of highlights on the wax parts of the purity seals. On the little areas that will be catching a little bit more light. Now we're going to go back to the gold. So Citadel Retributor Armour first. I'm going to recolour all of the gold. Unless the gold is hidden away. There isn't really anything hidden away on this one. So you can... Redo the gold, leaving the shade in the recesses. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Liberator Gold. It's going to be to highlight the Retributor armor, so paint about 50% of the Retributor armour with this. Think about where the light's coming from. So you want to do the top surfaces or the areas that will be catching the most light. So on the kind of feather part of the wings, I'll always do the outside half of each of those feather parts and break up the top of the edges of the wings by doing the same amount on the very outside edge of it and then that little kind of kink in it where it goes down to the crux terminatus use that too so now i'm going to add some model layer chrome from vallejo to the liberator gold i'm going to do about half of the area that we've just done with the liberator gold you can also use this to do an edge highlights on the gold because it is really really light it's got a lot of pigment from the chrome in there and it will act as a really really good highlight Now we're going to go for Citadel Mephist on red. We're just going to start working on these lenses. Just like you do with normal Space Marine lenses, I'm going to do sort of the first layer of Mephist on red. Actually going to do it on the top side of the lens, so the underside section is slightly darker. And then on the round lenses and the jewels, we are going to do a sort of crescent in the bottom left corner. We're then going to use a little bit of Citadel Evil Sun Scarlet and paint about 50% of the area we've just done with the Mephist on red with this colour. And finally, we're going to use a little spot of Wild Rider red, just to do the same again and do about 50% of the Evil Sun Scarlet.
The only thing we have left to do after this is use a little bit of Vallejo white just to do some light reflections on those lenses. So on the eye lens, we're going to do a white spot at the front and then a really tiny highlight at the back where we've just put that Wild Rider red. And then on the round lenses and the dual, we are going to do a really thin crescent on the side where we've highlighted it and then a little spot of light in the top right. Okay, we're working on the shoulder pad now, which should have the chapter badge. I thought because the usual one that you see is the yellow background with the wolf's head, the Space Wolf's chapter badge, we'll be putting this on this shoulder pad. So we're going to start with the, the Avalon Sunset as the base layer for the yellow. And then we can build up on that. I wasn't initially sure on which great company to do it, but I thought I might as well do the Space Wolf's chapter badge and then I can add that to the iconography folder when that comes up on Sunday. We're now going to use some Citadel Fugan Orange just to shade that. So you want to do the shading on the underside where you've got that gold part. And then we're only going to use a little bit of shade going part way up because it's going to be lighter near the top and to save going over that with the yellow. So once we've got that in place, we're going to use a little bit of Ricard Flesh while the Fugan Orange is drying. And we're just going to start working on the Purity Seals. So you want to be doing the top of the purity seals where the light will be catching all those crests and ridges where it's kind of billowing and a bit crinkled. So you want to make sure you pick out all of those details so that you can work on those. So back to the shoulder pad now. We've got the Fugan Orange dry and we're going to use a little bit of Avalon Sunset. What we're going to do is we're going to start applying this and kind of feather that down into the Fugan orange area just so you get that kind of slight gradation going from the Fugan orange into the Avalon sunset. If you just kind of feather that downwards you can roughly kind of blend that into the other thing without having too much of a noticeable line. It'll also give you a slightly uneven line. You also want to pick out any bits which will be catching the light like underneath that kind of gold section. Now I'm going to use some Citadel Ureal Yellow as the first highlight to this shoulder pad. So leaving some of the Avalon Sunset underneath of it and around the edges of it on that lower portion of the shoulder pad. You want to highlight mainly the top area here just so it gets that nice bright yellow where the light is catching it more. Okay, so we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo White. We're going to mix this with Citadel Rakarth Flesh. We're just going to do some quick highlights on those Purity Seals. I usually do two highlights, but it doesn't really matter too much if you just want to do the one or do two. I'm only doing one here really to save time on the video because it's already quite a long one. So you can do one or two highlights on these, depending on how you want them to look. Now we are going to use some Vallejo Black. We're going to use this to do the Space Wolf's icon on the shoulder pad there. So there will be a full tutorial of this coming on Sunday. This is mainly just to get it started so you know at what point I'm doing this. I also use the black here to do the little lines on the purity seals to make it look like I was writing on there. Because I was doing this section in black I've already done those little straight lines on the purity seals. Next colour is going to be Citadel Calidor Sky. I'm going to paint about, let's say about seven eighths of each of those blades, leaving a little bit shaded at the top edge where it joins onto the fist there. And we can start working on highlighting these blades, getting them looking really cool. So this is quite a long process, what we're going to do on these blades. We're going to mix some white with the Calador Sky and paint about three quarters of the area we've just painted with the plain Calador Sky with this shade. 
we're just going to keep adding white to the mix and slowly do the area that we're painting less and less and less so that gradiates from the darkness where you've got the Drachenhof nightshade all the way down to white at the very very tip. I'm going to add a little bit more white and do the same again doing about three quarters of the area we did with the previous mix. Once more, we're adding a bit more white to the previous mix, I'm doing about three quarters of the previous layer that we've done. You can see now that that's going from dark to a lighter and lighter blue, the closer it gets to the ends there. So it's a really easy method to doing this. Also now gonna add a little bit more white to the previous mix, get another highlight, about three quarters of the previous layer covered. That's getting down to sort of almost, I think, ice blue or a similar colour to that. There's going to be a little bit more white added to the previous mix again. And this is going to be just tiling about. 50% of that previous layer you can see that giving you that nice gradient from the dark blue to the light blue coming in now final mix we're going to use is going to be a bit more white added to the previous mix just doing the little bits on the tips there and then next up we're going to be using some pure white just to do the very 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 tips of those and then just do some edging on the blade so that you can see all the details and angles on them so using pure Vallejo white here, or whichever white you use, I'm just going to do a little bit on the tip of each of those blades. And then we're going to kind of use the side of the brush to paint those edges on the top edge of each blade, like so. I'm going to say the side of the brush, using sort of the side of the tip rather than using the tip and dragging it along, which makes it quite difficult to do on those edges you're just getting a little bit of that white paint on the tip of the brush and then dragging the very side of the tip down those edges so I'm going to start doing a little bowel damage here if you don't want to do bowel damage on your miniature you can probably finish here I'm just going to sponge on some little bits of Citadel Thondia Brown it's a nice dark brown I'm just going to use that to show where we're going to put that bowel damage it's a very simple method of doing this I'll link up a video on like paint chipping and scraping and things like that because you can do quite a bit with a very similar technique to whatever colour that you're using. We are then going to do the same again but with a little bit of Citadel Avalon Sunset and this is going to be on the face of that wolf on the shoulder pad there just to do a bit of battle damage on that too. Next on the battle damage, a little bit of Citadel Iron Hand Steel. And we're just going to use a very, very thin brush just to get that Iron Hand Steel into the larger areas of the Thondia Brown that we've just applied. And this is to show sort of where the paint has been scraped off down to like burr metal or burr ceramite or what have you. And so you've got that kind of rough, slightly weatheredish bit of the brown and then the silver where it's gone a bit deeper. All we're going to use is a little bit of Citadel Nuln Oil Shade and we are just going to shade all those little bits of shiny silver that we've just painted on there just to darken them down. Notice I did the front of the helmet there too because I just painted that with Iron Hand Steel as well so it fits in with the rest of the metallics. We are now going to use some Citadel Rust Grey mix a little bit of Vallejo White with it so it's a lighter shade than the final highlight and then we are going to use a really thin brush and just do really small highlights underneath each of those chips which makes it look like the light is catching the bottom edge of those paint chips and the paint where it's no longer smooth and it's got that little ridge where it's been chipped away
We are then going to do the same on the yellow using Citadel Dawn Yellow just to do some little highlights underneath those areas of battle damage. Like so. Now we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo German Grey. And this is going to be to highlight all those areas that we painted with black before on these seals. So you've got those little ridged seals between all the battle plate. And that's the area that you want to be highlighting, just the crest of those ridges. So you can see the detail in those. And this will be the final colour that we're painting on this miniature. Like so. So this is the finished Space Wolf. I am absolutely made up with how it turned out. I do have a bit of a thing for the Space Wolves. They're really, really cool chapter but i'm really pleased with how this one turned out and hopefully you found that tutorial a bit useful thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below thanks very much if you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me my coffee and patreon pages are linked below thanks very much